Hello, my name is Drew and this is Welcome to Boredom. Today I want to talk to you about a new fun party game that I've received from Rhinot Games called Tricky Dicks. Tricky Dicks is a Richard measuring game where players are going to be measuring the sizes of their Richard Nixons based on the size or width of Nixon on their card. So let's talk about a few things to know about Tricky Dicks. It's a three to eight player game for standard play. Of course, you can make modifications and they can be made for more or less players. The suggested age for players to be 18 years or older. Each game lasts around 15 to 30 minutes depending on your player count. And the player with the most victory points at the end of the game is the winner. So let's walk through the setup and then we'll get to the how to play. First, pick a player to shuffle the whole deck of cards then distribute them evenly based on the amount of players. Once receiving their cards, players can shuffle their stack of cards again, if they like, but they don't have to do that. Players will create a stack of cards face down and keep them close by. The first player to grab the rules card and read it will be the head dick, meaning they will be the first person to go. And that's how you set up. Throughout the course of the game, players will be switching the role of head dick after every single round. So let's talk about what happens in a round. The head dick for that round will draw the card that's on the top of their deck. Following the head dick's draw, the other players will draw their top card after the head dick. The head dick will proclaim that they possess one of the four following types of Richards. The largest Richard, the thickest Richard, the smallest Richard, or the thinnest Richard. Once the head dick has proclaimed that, the head dick will place their card face down in the center of the table. The remaining players will have two decisions to make. They can either pass or challenge the head dick. If a player passes, nothing happens. They must place the card at the bottom of their deck. If a player wants to challenge, then they place their card face down at the center of the table with the head dick's face down card. The head dick will count down or count to three, whichever that they prefer, and all the players will flip their cards. Each player is going to compare the sizes of their cards to other players, and whoever fits the description best takes all the cards from the center as victory points. When all the cards are revealed, and if you think that it's been a close call, you can make a challenge on the decision and have it measured again. This time they will use the ruler to measure the Richard Nixon cartoon. The way that players should measure should be from the tip of Nixon's finger to the bottom of Nixon's body, or from finger to finger, depending on how the head dick decided to measure. Whoever is the winner of the remeasuring contest will receive all of the cards, and an extra card from the deck of the challenging player in the remeasuring challenge. Let's use an example. Player one is the head dick. The head dick says that they have the longest dick. Players two and three challenge player one. They reveal their cards and player one and player three believe that player one has the largest richer. Player two thought that it was very close and actually thought theirs was longer than player one. So they challenge player one. Players one and two measure the cards and player two was actually right. Player two gets all of the cards in the middle and then one extra off the top of player one's deck. Once the contest has ended, the next player becomes the head dick. And that's everything you need to know about rounds, passing, challenging, and pretty much everything in tricky dicks. It's a very rare situation, but in some games, there will be a point in time where all players will actually pass. If this is the case, then the head dick of that round will keep their card and it is an automatic victory point. The game will continue to play until either the player has hit the victory point goal that the table has set or until one of the players runs out of cards. Again, the player with the most victory points is the winner of the game. And that's how you play Tricky Dicks. Thank you to Ride Not Games for sponsoring this video and giving me the opportunity to show all of you how to play Tricky Dicks. As well, thank you to Ride Not Games for sending me a copy of their game, Tricky Dicks, for future fun game nights that I'm gonna be having in the not so distant future. With that being said, I'm Drew, this has been Welcome to Boredom, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!